for the night here, you guys. Hey, uh, do you happen to feel butterflies sometime when you're just for no reason somewhere with some people? Nice. Well, I always do here because Mardo is always tonight and it's like every night and I always got hit by butterflies so it makes my voice like a teenager from 16 who just fell in love. But this is not what it's all about, you guys. Uh, let's make some fun together. Uh, I like to take and uh, get on and deal with social themes and topics that deal with us every day, right? It's just inevitable part of living chain that is called life. Okay, I'll start pretty smooth because, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, still feel the butterflies. I do. <laughs> Asante. You guys, I'm a teacher, and I try to teach kids not the languages I teach, but the life. This is all about that. I like to hold it in my right hand. It's more stable. <laughs> Mr. Teacher, Mr. Teacher, I want to ask. There is this thing, it bothers me so, gives me no patience, gives me no rest. Mr. Teacher, look, these guys on the left, they never talk to us. They have muscular, brown bodies, call, carry nice and, and, and treat for fun. They, they, they have company of awesomely hot chicks and good wheels. I want to join them badly, but they somehow don't let me in. What's wrong with me? Am I pussy or just mistakenly bad breed? Mr. Teacher, my father says I'm perfectly fine, but those black-skinned homies, they are the evil pests of our time. He calls them niggas because that's how they call themselves. And they don't deserve the decent love because they are just freed slaves. They have to be terminated and erased. Oh, oh, Mr. Teacher, but why is that so? See, Jemiro is my best friend. I stand behind him with my whole faith and strength. He cannot die just like so. Mr. Teacher, look at Sabina. She's so hot. But wow, he was a boy called Tom. We used to play ball and pool at the McTurney's, and it was like yesterday, but now it became something strange. Is it a him or her or so? Whatever. It became so ugly that everybody trolls with. But this time, I'll stay positive, Mr. Teacher. He's human failure of nature for sure. Our society should make no place for his kind at all. I'm positive, Mr. Teacher. I see blood. I feel blood all over the place. Oh, Mr. Teacher, did I do something wrong? Thank you. Oh, my God. I always try to conceive and absorb all the negative energy in the masses or around the masses when I'm dealing with, you know, and to transform, them, transform it in positive words. So, usually, you know, like, many people would try to say, like to say things, but many of them, they don't. So, I, I try to be their word for the ones who cannot speak. This is something that happens in our beautiful life, but it's very metaphorically, symbolically, uh, outrageously true. Listen to me. I like to do something, you guys. I usually am not so serious, sometimes I'm serious, it depends on the crowd, it depends on the mood, you know. Let's do something to that together. When I say S, you'll say stimulate. Can we do it all together? Come on. S. Stimulate. S. Stimulate. Sex. Stimulate. Stimulate. Exactly. <laughs> that was joke. I was testing you. Good. Once more. S. Stimulate. Let's do it. Let's do it. S. A droplet of homemade cannabis oil touches the back of her tongue, smoothly absorbing inside the stream, disarming the new receptors. You feel you're resurrecting and nothing could get wrong. Your senses are changed and, and the new day has just commenced, but now, baby, you're all gone. A kiss joins another kiss, two tongues firmly entangled create a human rain's forest of fluids and substances that cause a real emotion storing, suits a stressed and exhausted mind, muscles are relaxed and the pupils wide open, affections rises high and you are not left behind. Stimulate. 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 
Let's do it. Stimulate and then you resume pushing the cushions. Hormones are kicking response to organ reaction. Erecting pupils, nipples, and phalluses, long fell, false orgasm, deficient sarcasm, and the happens shillong tongues, bong. But that's but that's not enough, and you need some help. Poppers, ecstasy, Viagra, and screechy yelp. Rubber, PVC, plastic, ladder, metal, and coal, iron, or what's even next? Let's Let's stimulate. I know I'm just bragging about life is short, one should try it all. So I recommend you, Nancy, she's the best for you all. <laughs> the homies are in the back garden, grilling some Surinamese barbecue, swimming in chili sauces, backed on low charcoal fire, pure strand and nutritious fat acids. What a desire! Soothing a dessert, delicious blueberry, cranberry jam, Italian macarons and caramel truffles, but then you ain't see the fresh coming adrenaline rush. There comes immense power, makes you to do performer Dennis Rodman's land. But suddenly you are coughing and the heart is fading, the ends the fame. There is the ambulance man. Oh mama, no way! Nice pa nice picnic in Sparnvada with Jenny and Eva out. It's all green and fresh and it's little sunny around. Then you do it again. Chips and chocolate of repeated amounts. Bacon, steak and meatloaf in a triple portion. Show it down your throat. With a minute is all gone. But hunger goes on. Your hands are shaking. The food obsession causes kind of toxic growth. But who cares? There is just one more to go. The last one. <laughs> That football match, your Liverpool is winning, you said, cause they ain't there, though you enjoy the streaming. With a plenty of beer, Irish stout, some Upular Geneva, some cheap cheap Balkan wine, oh my, it's real it's real peach fever. Or your sofa. You keep following the blindly for meter scores. You guys are such a perfect crowd. I lust for more. And then I'll write a poem in the middle of this crazy stuff, written in a train while lurking in the short skirt of this Italian girl who looks like Monica Bellucci. Oh, I'm burning with desire. She stimulates my pen to compose devils, devil's verses on a wet kerchief with Jesus loves you written on it. I'm on fire. She stares in her phone and nibbling pistachios so cute like a mountain squirrel, but time's up, the trains arrive, my dirty piece of paper present to her. Look around you, beautiful you, it's marvelous, you don't know what you're missing. She's like she's seen a ghost, and I concluded by leaving proudly. Those were my final words. Thank you guys.